All right, time for another weekly Squirtle. If you're not familiar with Squirtle, this is number 129, by the way. Squirtle is just like Wordle, but it's on a grid, and we're guessing a row and a column at the same time. This eight is how many guesses we have remaining. In the last two weeks, we did uh, unusual letter, unusual words, uh, five letter words suggested by chat uh, GBT, I think. <laughs> Probably chat GPT. And then uh, the Google Gemini, and somebody commented, well, don't forget about Microsoft Copilot, so sure. So they asked it for five unusual five-letter words, and it gave them um, five words. I would not say unusual words. Actually, I I would almost argue that none of these are unusual. Some of them are, I mean, it's a, it's a spectrum, right, how unusual things are. Some of them are slightly unusual, but I wouldn't say any of them are really that unusual. But that's okay. We're going to go with its suggestions. Now, it did do a good job of choosing words with... Um, uncommon letters so there's that a q a z a j you know that kind of stuff but at any rate we're gonna go with quirk uh okay the k who would have guessed that the e is not surprising but the k okay okay uh fjord uh glyph and waltz okay well we got we got some stuff now let's see what we can do with what we got that's the real question okay we've got an r and a g oh the r's there we've got a g in the column here our g is pretty good and there is a yellow g over here uh a d t in the last column here is interesting uh the um t's not at the end it's not fourth r t isn't bad there is a yellow t here so T there could be good. We could do something T A uh D D oh there's a Y also, but the Y is not ooh, interesting. There's a Y in the bottom row. It obviously isn't first, it's not second, it's not last because of the white Y here. So and, oh, and it's not here. Okay, so this is a definite Y, because there's the white Y where the R is there. So keyed? Keyed could be good, could be good. Uh, that's not bad. Um, and then maybe an N here. We could do stand. Oop, oop. Stand could be good. It's not bad. It's not bad. There is an S. We need to have an S somewhere. It's not in the second or third row or column. So it's basically got to be first or yeah, somewhere. And that could be here too. That's not bad though. Stand is pretty good. We've got a U somewhere in this middle row. Could do EU, but I don't like that as well. I'm kind of thinking U here, which works well, except then it's, it looks looks like surge. Well, we could do a double S across the top. That's certainly possible. Uh, but re rebut rebut. We need an R in the column. That could work. That could work. Ooh, the G N is a problem here. Hmm, yeah, that's a problem. I didn't notice that. Okay, well, uh, we could also move the A down here and do something like stead. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So then, uh, I mean, before the K, I want to put a C. Doesn't have to be, but, oh. Conga? Conga? Eh, it's possible. It's possible. We do need a yellow O in the middle here. Maybe there? Uh, something like, I don't know, Croc? Uh, Ebony? E oh, we can't, put a, we can't put an O there, though. Oh, man. Shoot, I thought that was going to be great. Okay, so, hmm, maybe not rebut, because that's not working, other than Ebony. And what's, I don't want to do E-O, so I'm thinking the O is there, but, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, oh man, it was going good, it was going good, okay, well, I still think O here, but I don't know what this would be with the E, we don't necessarily have an E there, uh, we could do, we could do recut here, is that any better with the C? Not really. Not really. Well, I like the R here. I'm kind of thinking Croc. This could be... 
I mean, for all I know, this could be something like, uh, what? Ooh, L, we could do class. Okay, A, oh, we can't, I keep wanting to put an O here. We can't do agony. I don't think conga is good. I think maybe that's the problem. What are we gonna do here? Hmm, it's not necessarily a C bef on, before the K, but C sure is good there. Uh, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing class because I think there's an S in one of these two up here. So let's try that. Okay, it is class. It was a classy guess. Okay, so I mean Croc is still pretty good, but Uh, this isn't necessarily an A. That's not necessarily an A. We were thinking A here, potentially, weren't we? But then what would this be? Op opera. Opera. Le ooh, mm, le uh, mm. <laughs> this could still be Surge. Ooh, that's a U. Uh, what? No, no, that doesn't work either. Uh, what if this is not... You could do leper, but we need a D. That's that's. Hmm. No, I think it has to be key. I think it has to be keyed. Oh, ah, I'm clicking all the wrong things. I think it has to be keyed because the Y has to be there. We need a D. I think it's got to be keyed. So, lepi is not a word. So maybe not opera. Well, we need a T. It's not gonna be CT. Could put a T here. But there needs to be a T in the last column and the T after the S would be good, but you could put a T here and here, for example. I think, I think the T is gonna go here. I'm gonna go I'm gonna do rebut or recut. I think I'm gonna go. I think I, I'm not thinking of anything with a C here. Otherwise, other than acidy, but there's no I. So I think I'm gonna go rebut. I think I'm thinking Abby now. Actually, that's what I'm thinking with a double B. Um, umber, umbra, um. Uh, yeah. Ah, there we go. A, and then it's not a C. Crook, it's crook, and omega and lem. Oh, lem lemmy, is that a thing? I don't know that that's a thing. All right, well I'm gonna try rebut. I think, I think that's good. Okay, and then it's gotta be, it's gotta be ombre, right? Okay. And then maybe L-E-M-M-E -M -M -E is a word. I don't, because then I think it's got to be Omega. We need a G. For some reason, this has to be an A, I think. Yeah, because you can't put an A at the bottom. So this is a definite A. This is a definite D. With the K, the Y, and the D, I think these are definite E's. I don't know. I guess that must be a thing. Let's go with Omega. Okay. And then I think it has to be keyed. And I have keyed in the answer, although I don't know what one of those words is. Lem Lemmy? That's a new one to me. Okay, well, we started with some... Uh, actually, that the interesting thing is we started with supposedly unusual words, and one of the answers was definitely more unusual than the words that we started with. I would argue that ombre, or however you say that word, I never know how to pronounce that word, is probably more unusual than those as well, but... All right, pretty interesting one this week, so let me know how this solve went for you today, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more.